This is the second video of implicit type conversion. In the previous video, we have discussed about implicit type conversion. It is nothing but converting one data type into another data type by the compiler automatically and this process is done at the compile time. In this, in general, a lower data type is converted into higher data type. The main advantage of this uh, implicit type conversion is there will be no loss of information. In this video, we see some other examples. We see this example. This particular case is already discussed in the previous video in the integer division. An integer division always gives an integer value. We see what would be the output we are expecting here when 10 is divided with 3. We expect that the resultant value will be 3.333333. This is the output that we are expecting. But we see what would be the output here. The output is a is equal to 3.0. We are expecting 3.33, but we got 3. Why? Because this has happened because both 10 and 3 are integer values. 10 is integer value, 3 is also an integer value. If we perform division operation on integer values, we get the same integer value. That means the entire floating point values, they are truncated and we get only 3 value. This is how we got a 3 value here. But this is not the output we are expecting. We are expecting the output should be 3.333333. Then what should be done in order to get this particular value? In order to get this particular value, then we need to convert one of these two integer values into floating point type. That means either convert 10 into floating point type or 3 into floating point type or you can convert both of those values into floating, time, floating point type. Let us say I am converting one value into floating point type. Now we see what would be the output and here we got the output 3.33. That is what uh, the actual output we are expecting. Then how we got this particular value? Because now a is equal to 10 divided by 3. Sorry, 10 divided by 3.0. Now 10 is integer value. 3.0 is the floating point value. Now in this expression, 1 is integer type and the second value is floating point type. Then out of these two data types, which is having higher data type, float is the higher data type. Then automatically the integer type is converted into floating point type. Now 10 value becomes 10.0 divided by 3.0. Now what is happening here? Lower type is promoted to higher type. Now integer 10 now becomes floating point 10.0. Now here also floating point value. Now float by float. The resultant value is also a floating point value. In this case we get 3.33333. Likewise we get output here. Likewise uh, a lower type is converted into higher type. In this example as integer is the lower type, float is the higher type then integer is converted into higher type. Then we say, what are the implicit type conversion roles? There are different types of uh, type conversion roles here. Whenever in an expression, a char and short encounters, a character is converted into short type and whenever a short and integer encounters, a short is converted into integer type, integer is converted into unsigned integer, unsigned integer is converted into long integer, uh, long integer is converted into unsigned long integer. Similarly, uh, 
unsigned long, long integer is converted into long long integer and long long integer is converted into unsigned long long and finally unsigned long long is converted into float type float is converted into double type and finally double is converted into long double type in this fashion in an expression if more than one data type is available then the lower data type values are automatically converted into higher data type values by the compiler